Lola's. Welcome, babies. How are you guys doing? So, whew, I finally get to do a sit in the chair video. Might not be for long because <laughs> I have something in the oven. So, I won't be able to stay that long, but I thought I would come on and I will pop in and say hello. I miss you guys so much. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I should go over the house rules. Or is it rules or whatever. Um, just a couple things. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please continue to leave me comments. I read them. Guys, please note that I'm working with my hands so much right now. I'm going to get back and like if you ask a question or you know certain stuff I try to answer it right then and there um otherwise I'll come back I'll heart the, the comments when I read them and then I'll come back and I'll reply to as many as I can um make sure you're subscribed to this channel make sure you tell your friends I have a lot of stuff coming up for this channel um I'm telling you just stay tuned it's gonna be fun ride um i've finally got out mostly all my love mail i have one more person to send something to and then i have a actual giveaway baby that um someone won that i am going to do um it is been it has been challenging for me because of my workload on top of you know trying to do the giveaway baby which is a free baby that's good for me. I love giving um, when I can. Um, but the hard part has been me deciding which baby <laughs> to choose to be the actual giveaway baby. So um, I got some ideas. Um, and like I said, the baby has to be, you know, done and home by, by Christmas at least. Um, I was hoping it would be before Thanksgiving. It might still be. Um, it's gonna we're gonna see but um I, I like to do giveaways that like when I give a baby to one of you know my Lola's that's been around for a while I like to try to give them something that they like and you know I uh, I don't know um but we were gonna we're gonna see how that goes so if you guys don't know who Logan is Logan is the Greta sculpt um by Francesca Figa and uh Silicon Studio is actually producing this kit so they have you know the molding pouring and selling rights to sell this sculpt so they're selling it but the sculptor you know I always like to give credit to the sculptor because you know they <gasps> can't do nothing without sculpt right so um he was a prototype baby but i decided to keep him i keep a lot of my prototypes actually um or seem like i do at least for a little while and i started out rooting him and just you know the story um i have to make money guys i have to do babies that's bringing in money first and then i work on my personal babies that's just how that usually works um, for the most part, I do make time to make me a baby here and there. Um, because I started painting because I wanted to paint for me. So I'm not going to just turn it into a complete business and not do anything else. I have my hair done under here, but I hate, sometimes I hate the hair just hanging all over the place. So, but I guess I could at least not be extremely I could eh, not wear a bonnet but um you guys you Lola's you know Lola's love to be all up and peeking in the window um I have some babies that I have not shared with you guys yet I just been waiting on the proper time to do that and it just haven't seen to come yet so um but we're gonna get there and 
still we're going to I'm going to introduce some of them to you guys other than the ones that I'm collecting privately but I want to I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you guys some of the babies some of the babies back here you guys haven't met yet but it's okay you're gonna meet them soon enough and you're gonna have lots of fun with it too I think anyway but okay so Logan was we talking about Logan so yeah so Logan Logan is the Greta sculpt I said that already I think I did um he is on the website of siliconestudio2.com so I am exploring like lots of different sculptors um silicone um in the chat chatter box I I did a list I did a review over all the sculpts sculptors of pouring that I've done in silicone um but I left off, I forgot I left off two, two other people that I have painted silicone. So I've actually painted about, I think, 15 different sculptors' uh, pours. Maybe I should count 14 because I think two of the, two different sculptors are poured by one, one person. So anyway... But I, I have experienced at least 14 different pours from different pourers, if that makes sense. Um, so it's pretty cool um, learning which ones I prefer to paint from. And then, of course, there's always the sculpting and then, you know, the availability. Um, that's important to me as a, a collector. It's very important to me that I don't have to really, really jump hoops to get to a sculpt or... Um, Price is also important to me right now. Um, I try not to spend as much um, uh, if I don't have to. But if I have to, I have to because I do like what I like and I am willing to pay for it. So if I want to pay, you know, $3,000 for a sculpt, I will pay that. If I want to pay $1,000 for it, I will pay that. So that's just, you know, my thing. I love this baby. <laughs> he just feels so nice. He always knows you feel so nice. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't wait. I gotta, as soon as he get finished getting like fully rooted, I'm gonna be really dressing him. But I do like him in this little hat with this little outfit. He looks so cozy. Um... I was actually shocked to to see that um, quite a bit of people said he's one of their favorites. I was like, wow, I didn't think so. I didn't think that he would have been, you know, people favorites because um, he's not like, you know, what I say is a mainstream baby necessarily. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really excited to hear that. That was really nice. You know, despite what people say, like, we don't, I don't care what people say. I like what I like. I don't care what people, yeah, I like what I like. And I do uh, collect things that I know that, like, my friends and different people do not like. And that's okay. Um, but it does feel much nicer when, like, the people that you chat with the most and stuff like that, like your babies too. Cause you know, it's kind of awkward. Like sometimes there are certain babies that I have that some of my friends don't like. And I want to share, like if they have on a new outfit or something, I'm like, Ooh, I want to show this. I'm going to show her this or whatever. But then I'm like, never mind, Cause she's not going to have as much to say about it or she's not going to, you know, because she don't like the, the kid. She don't like the kid. She don't like the baby or whatever. So, I'm just like, yeah, what's the point? So a lot of babies, I I will kind of shy away from showing as much um, sometimes because, you know, most if most people are not enjoying seeing them, what's the point? I can just enjoy them privately. So, and then there are some babies that I love so much that I don't want to share <laughs> because I just want to keep them to myself. So I think we all get selfish in that way for a little bit. Um, but I'm really, really excited. I am going to have new babies for my personal collection. I'm really excited about that. I'm also letting babies go. Um, babies that I thought that I would, you know, 
try to hold on to um, longer. I'm, I'm letting them go because I can't keep them all and I need space. I don't know like what number I'm at now because I've added so many babies since the last time I counted. But the last time I counted I was up to 25. But I, I'm pretty sure I have quite a bit more than that. Um, but I'm going to let some go. Um, I was I was teasing with someone the other day. Um, they were asking me like, oh, well, are you going to root Jaden? Can I buy Jaden? And I said, sure. He's going to be 5500 And so, <laughs> so they were like, they 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 wasn't really wanting to buy him for real though, um, cause they they were looking for reborn reborns, not silicones. But I just thought it was funny, cause sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, you want to buy them? Okay, sure, I'll give you a price. I give them a price, you know. Sometimes I do it just because I know that a lot of times it's like people want what you're not selling. Sometimes, and so that's that's how. It goes sometimes. So I'll I'll be funny and say, okay, well, let me put a price on it. See what you do. <laughs> sometimes I actually will sell it though. I will sell it sometimes if you ask me on the right day and I'm like, oh well, whatever. Yeah, okay, give me such and such. I'll send it to you. <laughs> um, it's funny. Um, I I love I love the, the 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 relationships that I've I've built with a lot of people in the community. But I wanted to also say this too, that I'm also learning something about myself is to self-reflect on me. And sometimes I'm quick to, you know, I guess the young young people will say pop off on somebody or go off or, you know, snap at somebody because I am offended by what they say or I feel like they're coming at me from a negative, you know, headspace or whatever. But sometimes people just think differently than me and I realize that I have to take a step back and I have to learn how to adjust my tone and then just talk to the person and say, hey, this made me feel like this when you said this. Um, I don't know what your intent was, but this is how it made me feel. Give that person the opportunity to say, hey, that's not the way I meant it. Or, well, I'm sorry if you took it that way, but that's what I said and I said what I said. Because you might get that response too. But I like being able to be grown up and say, hey, I'm wrong for the way I react too. And I'm, I'm sorry for that. So I had to apologize to someone not too long ago. And I apologize. And I'm so glad because it really worked out so I'm I'm putting this out here publicly without speaking on the specific situation or names or whatever so that maybe you guys can learn something from that too maybe some of the people that you think are like totally against you may not just be against you they may just think differently and they may have been saying something in fun or they thought it was funny or they thought you know you were okay with that type of banter and you take it the wrong way and now you guys both are missing out on great people because you didn't communicate um this world just have too much negativity in it for us to 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 be as negative and as back and forth as we can get sometime in this community too because this for a lot of people are their getaway their escape from the reality of real world the escape from you know bills and people dying and sickness and you know um some of us are and I, and I say some of us not me I can I can get up and go and drive I just choose not to but some people cannot leave their houses so YouTube is their entertainment you know and for those that are judging people that you know do role play and and enjoy you know entertaining people on YouTube it's not for you if you don't enjoy it. It's for the people that enjoy it because some people, that's all they have. And yeah, we could look at regular TV shows, but it's so much killing and um, people trying to uh, push their own 
agendas and thoughts and beliefs on you know us through tv and these shows sometimes we don't even want to watch tv shows it's just too real it's too much it's like in your face we just want to escape into a fantasy world and that's what the doll world to me like the youtube world give to provide to people i know my baby is not real he doesn't even have to have a name he could just be a doll he could be this boy you know or this doll you know but he's logan he's chubby little logan um he's you know kind of reminds me of tamar son um and so i i really like that name for him so I, I make I make them have personalities. I make them be who I want them to be. Um, because this is my imagination and my world. If I want to walk around with a big belly and pregnant, which I will be soon. <laughs> I'm going to be blown up, swollen up. Because I got that thing towed up. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm not like behind the camera. Y'all actually can see me. But... Yeah, some, that's, you know, that's what it is. Like, you know, leave people alone. Mind your business. I don't understand. Like, I do understand. I do understand. And, it, and it, let me say this. Hey, if that's what people want to do, let me leave it at that. But I'm just saying it just makes it a lot easier if you just watch what you like to watch and don't watch what you don't want to watch. And all the stuff about, oh, this makes the community look bad. It makes us look a certain way. And people perceive us as this. People are going to judge us anyway. They're going to judge us just as hard if they've never seen us rocking the babies. If they've never seen us feeding them. They're still going to say, I, I walk, walk into a clothing store and I can literally have the doll in a bag. Not even in a carrier or a stroller or anything like that and someone be like oh is that a baby in a bag and I'm like no it's a doll and then I'll say um I'm on my way out but I didn't want to leave it in the car and they'll say oh can I see it and I show it to them this is a true story it's happened before I show it to them first thing they say but why and then they're like oh is it for people that can't have children is it for this? Is it for that? Why do I have to be broken to have a hobby? Not saying that if you can't have children that you're broken or not saying anything towards that because that's okay too. But people are going to, I'm just, my point is people are going to assume even if I'm not doing ab nothing abnormal, I'm just in the store. I got my doll in a bag, in a carry up uh, doll bag and not even so people can really see, but they just happen to, when I bend down, got a glimpse that it might something look like a baby in there. And I can specifically say, it's a doll. I don't call it a baby. I don't give it a name to them or anything. And I say, hey, I collected it. It's an artwork, blah, blah, blah. They still are judging me from that point on. Hell, even without the hobby, people are judging me. If I'm, you know, if I'm in the store and I have Gabby with me and me and Gabby are you know, singing or I bust out in a dance because I'll do something like that in the store. They're like, oh, she's she's special. Or if I wear my hair a specific way, oh, she's ghetto or she's that. You know, so we're going to get judged in a way. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I do believe that sometimes, yes, me having a baby and pushing out a doll in the bathtub was definitely... <laughs> Definitely a bit much and definitely if a co-worker saw that from the firm would be like you sure you don't want to get evaluated <laughs> get her evaluated like I saw her literally pushing out a baby in the tub you know um it was the thought process behind it was that I was so excited that a silicone baby could go in the water and I was like water birth you know that was my first you know let me do a water birth and so there it was um but to other people it's like oh my god that's so crazy you know i even you know one collector actually told me that she doesn't like to see the fake pregnancy and to pretend to be pregnancies as a trigger and stuff like that but because i'm so goofy with it it doesn't seem to bother them and i was grateful for that 
Um, but anything can be a trigger. Anything we do can be a trigger for someone. Um, I was talking about this in a video before and I deleted it because I didn't want to go that deep into it. But I have certain triggers with the dolls themselves because of past experiences. And But I, I can't expect the whole world to, to, to pause for my triggers. I have to be able to work through them or just not watch. Um, Sometimes I'm watching a video and I'm really enjoying the content and then here come a cat walk across the screen or curl up next to the doll and I have to turn it off because it's a trigger for me. But it, it's people supposed to get rid of their cats or they're not supposed to let their cats be in their videos because other people love seeing the cats crawling all over the dolls. You know what I mean? So it's to each his own. And we do have the freedom of speech and entitled to talk about what we want to talk about just like I'm talking about this. Yes, I get that. I'm just saying. That's just my thoughts. That's my thoughts, guys. That's all I have for today. I have to go because I'm sure my oven is going beep, 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 <laughs> because it's well over 16 minutes and that's how long I had it timed on for. But it shuts off. Um, but you know, with that heat going, it's still cooking. I'm roasting peanuts, just so you know. Not a baby. Um, but anyway, Logan, that's a Logan. Say, I am Logan. I am Logan. Yes, I kiss my babies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I do kiss my dolls. I kiss them on top of the head. I kiss them usually on top of the head. I usually kiss them on top of the head. And I do hold them and I hug them and I squeeze them. Because it feels so good. Because it's just like having a teddy bear when you're a little girl and even though we're grown people it's okay it's okay it's okay I'm not crazy I am fully aware that this baby can never love me back um I'm fully aware of all of that um you know when you say that that makes me kind of sad in a way but <laughs> the way that the babies love me back is by staying cute Staying in good condition and that's the real loving me back. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to have more sit-down chats. And what baby do you want to see in my arms next? Because I haven't did this in a while. I think I'm gonna make another video after I go get my peanuts out of the oven. Hmm. What baby will I bring over next? We'll see. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.